close did you come to buying it this time? Too bloody close. Rubbish. The Jerrys couldn't hit the side of a barn. They don't have to when they can blow it to hell. Ah, don't be such a big girl's blouse. Attention! Attention! Morning, Colonel. Good morning, Corporal. I understand congratulations are in order. Bring back a trainload of wounded out of fire? Outstanding. You could learn a thing or ten from him, Private. I'm doing my best, sir. That's what terrifies me. I would ask how on God's green earth you managed to land in your current predicament, but we have more important matters to discuss. Corporal, I need you to run a train to Mont Sebia. Intelligence reports that Jerry's are gearing up for an assault. Get this ammunition to the fort on the double, and once Private Disaster has been re-railed, he will follow with a shipment of medical supplies, unless he's waylaid by another catastrophe. Now hop to it! Sir, yes sir! I respect that man, but the way he treats you, does he think you ask for this? I don't know and I don't care. I'm bad luck and there's nothing anyone can do about it. You shouldn't always look to others to fix your problems, Stanley. You should take some initiative. Try adopting a new attitude. Take me, for example. Every time I'm about to do something, no matter how big or small, I tell myself, I can do this. You really think that's why you're so lucky? It's not luck, Stanley. It's self-confidence. It's how I got to be where I am today. Give it a try. I promise it'll work. I'll think about it. Thanks, Kyle. No worries.
Sorry, sir, it's given us the slip again. What do you mean, again? I take it you're unaware the Foundation has been on Sodor before. Yes, sir, when was the last time? 1955. We were tracking a hostile SCP in the surrounding waters. During that operation, we learned the island has a history of anomalous activity. We investigated these events, as well as reports of a creature lurking in a nearby valley. Nothing came of it. We did get hold of the lamp, but it disappeared before we could perform any tests. How? We don't know. But given all the stories we heard about it, it sounds like it has a mind of its own. And as I told you then, Agent Potter, anecdotes are not science. With all due respect, sir, those anecdotes are why we looked into the lamp in the first place. Very true. Regardless, it is not in our possession and there is no sense brooding about it. Not when we have work to do. Has the radar been recalibrated? Yes, sir. Then let's proceed. I once heard a D-Class describe insanity as doing the same thing over and over again, thinking things will turn out different. I sometimes wonder if science is just organized insanity. It may well be, but Dr. Pierce is right that perseverance is important. It's how I was able to discover Atlantis. I'm sure we'll find the lamp eventually. I wonder where it is. Wherever it needs to be. find this. It was among some papers the police seized. None of them could translate the language, but I said I might know someone who can. And they just let you remove evidence like that? I'm mates with the chief inspector on the case. And why is a local police matter our concern? The symbols on the paper look like the ones on the cave. I thought maybe they might have some information that could help us. Excellent initiative. What do you make of it, Dr. Hatley? Well, it's old Sudrian. This was the language they spoke during the time of King Godred. It's a lot easier to translate than its ancient counterpart. Um, I don't see any mention of the cave. In fact, this reads a lot more like directions. To what? I'm not sure yet, but they start from... The Standing Stones. This is where they stop, and the text gave no clue what might be here? No sir, none. Maybe it's King Godred's treasure. I doubt that. There's only one way to know for sure. Start digging. Why don't you think it's the treasure, ma'am? Because it might not exist. But isn't it part of the legend? No, that's a common misconception. The legend doesn't make any mention whatsoever about buried treasure. It certainly doesn't say anything about a magic crown that makes the wearer immortal. Then where did all that come from? Are you sure the treasure doesn't exist, Dr. Hatley? Even if it does, there's no way it would consist entirely of diamonds, South African diamonds no less. 
My parents were jewelers. They also told me a story about how a large shipment was stolen during the Second Boer War. Do you mean the Great Diamond Heist, sir? You think this could be it? I do. If so, the question becomes how they came here. The map also raises some questions. I've held a lot of ancient papers in my time. By the feel alone, I can tell it isn't all that old. Maybe a few decades at most. But who would know this much old Sudrian? And why would they use it? Perhaps as a code. If I hid something valuable, I'd make sure I was the only one who could find it. Using a dead language sounds like a good idea to me. Indeed, these diamonds will prove very useful. I've been petitioning the Foundation to construct a new facility on Sodor, something more suitable than an aging wartime fort. They've always denied my request for budgetary reasons. I suspect that won't be a problem now. Does that mean the matter is closed, sir? Not quite. My curiosity has been piqued and my instincts tell me we should press this further. I want you to speak to the man who had that crate of documents on Earth, see what he knows about the diamonds and the map, The lamp strikes again. The lamp and you, Jack. All I did was ask for a lift. It was lucky you did. I don't fancy getting flattened by rocks. No, that'd be one of the worst ways to go. But you made it out one piece. Make sure you stay that way. I will. See you later, Jack. Later. Is something wrong, Stanley? I just had a feeling of deja vu. I was somehow reminded about a friend who was killed on the Western Front. Was this the fellow you talked about back on the MSR? The really lucky engine? What was his name again? Corporal Kyle Proteus. <laughs> What the hell was that? K -k kyle Stanley? You can see me? Of course I can see you! You can hear me too? Oh my god! You're absolutely sure? Yes, sir. We amnesitize everyone. What about this engine? You said he disappeared after you picked up the lamp? Yes, sir. So I set it back down, said his name, and he came back. I picked up the lamp again, and poof, he was gone. I feel like a prat for doing that. You shouldn't. That was good science. Well done. But why were you even there? We spoke to the man as instructed. His father was one of the boars who stole the diamonds. He then ripped off his comrades and fled to Sodor. After he died, he willed them to a friend of his, a fellow named Jackson Bailey. I gather his son was not content to let that happen. No, sir. He had his thugs track him down, but he gave them a thrashing. They were able to steal the map which he was carrying at the time, but they were never able to read it. Does this Mr. Bailey have a background studying languages? He doesn't have much of a background, sir. It seems everyone knows of him, but can't say anything about him except that he's a hard man to fight and find. Still, we were given a lead that led us to Sudwin. Lucky we followed it. Indeed. Let's see if our luck continues. Corporal Kyle Proteus? <laughs> Good science, my ass. What you did was cruel. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I've spoken with someone? Anyone? Then we may as well make the most of this opportunity. Your war department file says you were killed in action. What can you tell us about that experience? It was quick. Extremely painful, but quick. I started floating. As I was looking down the wreckage, I spotted the lamp. When I did, I started drifting back towards the ground and kind of... 
latched onto it. How? I don't know. I just did. Ever since I've been completely invisible, I didn't know saying my name would fix that, and I have no idea why it did. What about your properties as a good luck charm? Do they stem from you or the lamp? Probably the lamp, because I don't actually do anything. You don't influence the world around you. No, whenever I show up, good things just happen most of the time. Last year I appeared in the back of a lorry that was stolen. It broke down in the main line and the driver scarpered. Not long after he did, a train crashed into it. That wasn't so lucky. I beg to differ. I mean, nobody was seriously hurt and the police did catch that man. He was wanted for a number of burglaries. Even so, sometimes I feel like such a fraud, but other times I do feel immense satisfaction helping others. How is it you always seem to appear at the location of imminent disasters? Ever since I became whatever I am, I've developed a sixth sense. I can't explain it, but it comes on as a kind of urge that I have to... What is it? The urge. It's coming on. I have to go. We're not quite done. Sorry, but I can't ignore it. I have to be somewhere. Do you expect us to carry you there? No, I don't. The Foundation tried finding the lamp, but never did. Shiver me timbers. This Proteus bloke sounds like he's living a hard life, going unseen, unheard, and unthanked despite doing so much good. Indeed, which is why I'm hoping it isn't true. What about the rest of it? If you mean King Godred's treasure, it turns out it isn't mentioned in the legend, and there's a reason for that. It doesn't exist. According to a book published in 1968, it was part of a tourism campaign by the island's council back in 1852. So the Crown all that was a publicity stunt? Indeed. It's amazing how we easily history can be influenced. How about the diamonds? Wasn't Whiff involved in the heist? Yes. He later found out his guard was connected with the boars. He tipped them off about the diamonds. Nobody knows what happened to them after that. My guess is they split the loot and went their separate ways. So you don't think this old Bailey bloke got hold of them? No, I don't. Then again, I often wondered how he made a living. Being a fogman did not pay very well. Why would he bury them? He didn't trust banks. It's all academic anyway. As I said, I don't believe those diamonds ended up on Sodor. If they did, it would explain Camp Cody. That place never made sense to me. If the MOD wanted to cut costs, why didn't they just pull out entirely? I guess because it wasn't the MOD who built it. I'm guessing it wasn't the Foundation either. Remember they closed Camp Cody back in 1991? I do now. I also remember the last time anyone saw the lamp was during that whole business with Sir Topham and the hospital. Where do you think it is now? Wherever it needs to be. Thank you.